Hello and welcome to Living Word, growing a family that experiences every promise of God. For more information, visit our website at livingwordonline.com. 13, 13 says, And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Now, there was a time when I thought, really? Faith that can move mountains? Love is greater than faith that can move mountains? Love is greater than the hope that tomorrow is a better day? Love, my ability to love extravagantly, is the greatest thing? I'm going to show you why. And they're putting up the scripture, 1 Corinthians 13, 4 and 5, tells us, the scripture, 1 Corinthians 13, 4 and 5. Okay. Well, love cancels. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> no, oh. This is awesome. Because I want to be this. <laughs> yes. But how many of you know that love cancels this? Love cancels mean. Love cancels jealousy and envy. <laughs> love cancels our need to brag, to find value and worth. Love cancels out pride. Love cancels out the need to put others down, to make fun, to belittle. I love this one. This is one I think a lot for ladies. Love cancels comparison and competition. Ooh. You know, love is not self-seeking. It's an other's consciousness. And you know what is so powerful in our life is when we take ourselves out of the game by love, and refuse to play, refuse to see how we measure up with the person standing next to us or the person in the job. When you remove yourself and don't play the game, there's no competition to be had. Love cancels angry. We don't have to walk through our lives angry and frustrated. This is a big one. Love cancels unforgiveness. Mm. But you know what? That's not all the reasons why love is a superpower. 1 Peter 4, 8 gives us even more perspective and more insight into love when it says love covers a multitude of sins. This is what love does. It takes all this junk and it covers it up. <laughs> Church, love is not a coward's way out. Loving people does not mean that you're not, not taking a stand about something. Love is not easy. In fact, it's incredibly difficult when you're not automatically feeling it in the moment. It's an incredible difficult thing to master. But we can. And here's, a, here's another reason why. There's not a single one of you in here today or on this stage that don't already know 10 things that need to change about themselves. 10 flaws, 10 weaknesses, 10 ways in which we miss the mark. We don't need anyone to tell us that. What we need is we need an environment of love that enables us to make the changes to those 10 crazy things. And why that environment? Because it also says love never fails or disappoints to do what it sets out to do. It's a powerful, powerful, incredible force that you and I have. So this week, can we determine and purpose that we're going to love extravagantly no matter what? And let us not forget that love, for love's sake, is what endured or sent Jesus to endure the cross. We introduce to you Living Word Virtual Church Community. Each week, we come together during the live stream, chatting with each other through live comment sections. Then, 
During the week, our virtual church community reconnects in online share groups to discuss the weekend service and study the Word. To sign up, visit the Living Word Virtual Church Community page on our website. We'll see you there.